Welcome back. So far, we have created a products page and a product details page. For both pages, we defined a page.js file or page.server.js file to define a load function that will provide the necessary page data. In this video, let's learn how to load layout data. Let me head back to the browser and explain the feature we want to add. In both products page and product details page, I want us to display a featured products section. The data for the featured products, I'm going to copy paste the JSON in our db.json file. This data will be available at localhost 4000 slash featured products. Featured product one, two, and three. All we have to do is fetch and display this list of featured products in both the details page and the listing page. Now we could fetch data in both the routes load function, but we would be violating the do not repeat yourself principle. The better solution is to wrap the two pages in a layout and load the featured products in that layout, which will prevent code duplication. So in the products folder, I'm going to create plus layout.svelt file. Here we render the loaded list of featured products. But the question is, how do we load data into a layout? Well, once again, there is a convention we have to follow. Similar to page.js or page.server.js, we have to define layout.js or layout.server.js. For this video, let's define layout.js, which will contain a universal load function that will run both on the server and in the browser. So as a sibling to layout.svelt plus layout.js. Within the file, we export a load function. This is an async function which receives load event as an argument. From load event, we're going to destructure fetch. I'm going to declare a title constant. And this is going to be featured products. Next, we make our API call. Response is equal to await fetch, and the URL is port 4000 slash featured products. Next, we get hold of the JSON response. Finally, we return title and featured products. Now, in our layout.svelte file, let's bind the data that is provided as props. So, a script section, export let data, where data refers to the object we have just returned. And we can extract title and featured products. For the HTML and CSS, to save us some time, let me copy paste the code. We have an h2 tag that binds title, which is featured products. And then we have an each block where for each featured product, we render the title and description. We have a wrapping div tag with class set to product item, which sets some CSS properties as you can see here. Let's also make sure to render the slot tag for the individual page component files. If we now save the file and head to the browser, we have our featured product section in slash products route. And if we navigate to slash products slash one, we still have that section. But what I want you to take away from this video is that we can load data into layout files as well define a plus layout.js file or a plus layout.server.js file depending on your needs and return an object that will be available as the data prop in layout.svelte file. Find the data to the HTML and apply any necessary CSS. Very similar to loading page data. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.